So we'll play we'll play some uh some silly decks. I know you got a good amount of uh a good amount of decks that <laughs> <laughs> So you make the Bish Balkin deck just for the uh Yeah, yeah, I had to do it eventually. Practice. Eventually I had to do it. Wicked. Okay. I now have you up on the stream. Alright. Ahoy hoy. I'm gonna host uh host up a room here. Okay, so I'm gonna be I'm gonna be bringing some of my uh some of my fun stuff. Um I picked four. Okay. That I think would be okay to go against you. All right, you go. You go absolutely nuts. Completely up to you. You pick what you want to run with. Did you watch any of the uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh Invitational, by the way? Uh, which one? The the one that y'all did in France? Yeah, yeah. I did. That was really fun. That was really cool. I got invited to that. I yeah, you played Hero. You you went I undefeated, did. right? I had on the first day. I got absolutely uh, put in my place on the second day. What but was your was your list just like standard, or did you have any like spicy shit in there? Uh, we had like um, uh, Destiny Hero Plasma, uh, like Destiny Draw, Trinity. Trinity was absolute G. That's become my favorite card. Okay. And when I made the deck at home to play, uh, I got a royal finish with it. So it's now my favorite hero oh, monster. Oh, wow. Vision, uh, Vision Hero, hero Trinity. Trinity. Yeah. No, good card. Very good card. That card's insane. Did you win first, by the way? I, I let you go first. I did. Oh my god, we <laughs> the Malefics. We are. Oh so, my god. Now... You know what sucks about Malefics? That Ash Blossom stops uh, Malefic World. And do you know what sucks about Malefics as well? Uh, they're absolutely terrible. <laughs> got nothing else. Okay. Ooh, now no, this might be good. Okay. So, what anime, what Yu Gi Oh animes have you watched? Uh, I'm very. I've watched all of Dual Monsters several times due to, like, I make the most content on it. Mm -hmm. GX is my favorite of all time. And what got me into, like, archetypes, like Cyber Dragon, which is my favorite archetype. Uh, 5Ds, I watched later on. Okay. Because uh, I wasn't that interested in Synchro at the time. So you watch all of 5Ds? Yes. Okay. Uh, I, I got it up to the... They play against Team Unicorn. Did but... you watch Arc V? I liked Arc V, except okay. for the ending. So, uh, you'll know, so you'll know what I'm playing when I summon a, a super heavy samurai. Okay, yeah, I do. <laughs> so you've got no spells or traps in your deck. No spells or traps. Spells. I am all monsters. Now, I heard that these are quite good now. Super uh, heavies. they're actually getting new support that is insane. Please don't ash this. No! <laughs> oh, no. Um... You can ash my Malefic World on my turn, don't worry. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, sure. Epic. We're just gonna attack in defense position. You know what? That's the whole gimmick. I can that's that's the whole gimmick. I am going to, uh, believe it or not, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass. <laughs> we are playing jank. That's okay. So, well, is, is Malefic Territory the one that basically errata's all the Malefics? Uh, yeah, I'm going to be yeah, ashing it, that. 100%. It was such a bad... Oh, no. This is so, <laughs> I don't even get my draw now. It's such a bad design. Wait, it's you don't get your off. draw? Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> so, Malefic Territory is the one that says you can control more than one, right? Yes. I love how they just gave them a continuous spell that says, I'm errata your archetype. <laughs> We made this archetype so bad that we have to make a card that like <laughs> ruins the whole point of whatever this is. Having one Malefic monster on, on the field at a time. They nerfed all of the Malefic monsters. Like in the anime, they all had their original effects. Like Malefic Cyber End Dragon could do piercing. Rainbow Dragon could like wipe the field. And they took all those powers off them. I was like, they should have left it. Give me Galaxy Eyes, Malefic Dragon. I mean, I feel like that'd be a little insane. I feel like Malefics and Toons kind of like have that same flavor, right? Where they're just like yeah. different flavors of like other cards in the game that are like well known which is why i think a lot of people do gravitate like i feel like a definitely a good amount of people gravitate towards tunes early on and some of them like if they're like oh tunes is too cartoony i want something more edgy they'll gravitate towards the malefics because they're yeah. like oh I, I love these monsters these big dragons from the anime and i just want to summon those i don't care about anything else you know um i want to do this yeah, they have a Link Monster now. It's actually really broken. It can discard any card to special summon back a Super Heavy from the grave. Card's really how good. Do you feel, how do you feel about Link 1 cards? Uh, I feel like almost all of them are broken. Like, they're they're pretty much all fucking busted, you know? Like, one card start a card sometimes. Like, get on my nerves. Yeah. Like, I'm trying to think. Zodiacs annoy me because it's just like a one card XCs kind of thing. Yeah. Like things like that. I don't know. It's just like the whole point is getting to so things like that sometimes. I don't know. Yeah, I definitely feel as though Link 1s are, are a, a pretty severe problem in the game. I'm going to be honest. Huh? I'm going to add the big Benkai. He is large. Nice. Large and in charge. So what, what I love about this, I can summon back the same guy that it, uh, it put back in the deck. 
I put, I put in the grave. I don't want to use this. I do want to use this, though. And I think this should be game. It's 35. That was good. And then 38 to the dome. Attacking in defense is such a unique mechanic, too. It's cool. That was a warm-up for me. I mean, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Run it back. Run it back. I'll swap to a different <laughs> deck. Uh, did you, has your chat ever told you how Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 ended? Um, in the manga, sorry, in the manga. How no, weird it is. so here's the big thing. I have watched very little Yu-Gi-Oh! anime. And by very little, I have watched a bit of Duel Monsters as a kid. My favorite arc is the Orichalcos arc. I know it's filler. I love it no, so no. much. You're absolutely right. It's a fantastic arc. So, okay. So my opinion on the uh, on Duel Monsters, by the way, you let me know if you agree with this as the anime, uh, you know, aficionado okay. here. here my go. opinion on Duel Monsters is that it is a good anime it is a bad Yu-Gi-Oh anime I learned to play Yu-Gi-Oh from that so I learned very very wrong so <laughs> yes I think I think you uh, was it you said this that you, you like Yu-Gi-Oh brains because it's I, an love, I love I love brains like, have you watched it deck. yeah yeah I, I liked brains oh dude that brains again, is so good that... no I, I loved brains so much and the main reason why I really really like brains it's just because you can feel like the players are like actually good at the game and stuff like that, right? Like Revolver, there was not a single Revolver duel where he doesn't just outplay his opponent like properly. You know what I mean? He's like he absolutely cooks him. It's nuts. The thing with that was though, you got like um, Ghost Girl who's playing like Alter Geist and that Fuck Geist. <laughs> in every single one of the duels. Yeah, and that's got, the. Uh, there, there was Blue a couple Angel. of weird, a couple of weird things in Brains. Like girls never won and bad no. guys never won when it mattered, and it, it no. was like. Very much a hero story, and I was like, ah, eh, maybe it could have been a little more flavorful, you know? I've only done one, um, Vrain's Duel, which was the Blue Angel versus, uh, Yusaku, the main character. Yeah. And, like, immediately I was like, oh, she could have just won on her first turn. Because I was actually playing Trick Stars that month to learn it. Oh, yeah? And I was like, oh, she just could have just added two of, uh, Thingy and then just, just burned him to death on the first turn. Oh, that's that crazy. Four life points. Well, actually, now I think about it, with 4,000 life points, like, Trick Stars really broken, yeah, isn't it? She, just, she got rid of him for Marincess. Dude, keep those. <laughs> I mean, Marincess is very good now, you know? This, I don't have my field spell. This sucks. Mm. The only cool thing, though, is I think Malefic Parallel Gear is really cool because it'll keep its effect even under Skill Drain, which I really like. You're saying Should sorry? Or Should I make Baron or Chen Ying? Uh, up to Baron. you, bro. However you feel. Baron the floor. Okay. Damn, this just makes Baron, huh? Wow. Easy peasy. So I love cards that are able to use materials at hand. Like, I, I play a lot of Code Talkers, and all the little, like, the small Code Talkers, they all do that. They all do the whole, like, link with a guy from hand. I'll storm. Not very nice. No, I know. I I'm shit. I have a plan. Normal summon Unchained Twin Sorama. Ah, okay. I'll go battle phase. I'm gonna attack your Baron. Fine. I will use Sorama Chain Link 1. And I'll use... Oh, oh, any responsers? Oh. Oh. You have oh, strike. Okay, this is fine. This is acceptable. See, in the TCG, I would have... Wait, I capped a bomb? Oh my god, this game is bad. Oh, I hate OCG triggers. Okay, so this is, might not be something that you know. In the TCG and the OCG... Oh my god. Cards work differently. Uh, the trigger effects in hand work differently. So in the TCG, the way it works is... If you have triggers, like I have a, a card in my hand that, that triggered off that destruction. But the yeah. way it works in the TCG is you just put all your triggers on the chain and then you allow your opponent a chance to respond. In the OCG, you put all your triggers that aren't in your hand on the chain, allow your opponent a chance to respond, and afterwards you can put your hand triggers on the chain. So for that reason, because you saw him strike and it's a counter trap, I cannot respond with the monster effect that I had in my hand. Despite the fact oh. that I would have been able to just put it all on the chain of the TCG. You had an abominable in your hand then. Yeah, I do, I do have a bomb. Yeah. So if you was in Japan, that would have summoned, but here it doesn't. No, the other way around. Uh, Master Duel uses, uses the OCG rulings. Um, there was one TCG player, a friend of mine, who was at Worlds, and he was playing um, Altergeist against Sky Striker. And what had ended up happening was uh, his opponent was on uh, on Striker, and his opponent had resolved multi-roll, making it so that the opponent couldn't respond to your spells. And then my friend goes, uh, activate a trap card, and then the opponent goes, uh, okay, sure, that's good. Then on resolution of that trap, uh, he goes, okay, I am now going to uh, activate a spell card. You can't activate multi-faker in hand. Insane. Like, it's so crazy that interactions like that happen in, in OCG land. So much still to learn from the game. 
Yeah. Surprising. Um, I'm gonna do this. Have you asked him about canned water? Yeah, okay. I, I I have a bone to pick with the UK people, okay? okay. I, I went to YCS London 2019, and they had fucking canned water there. Is that like a typical thing, or no? I, I don't think I've ever seen canned water in my life. <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> That's no? I, cans that of water. London, was... That might be a London thing. They do some wacky stuff over there, so... Okay, interesting. Because I was like, what the hell am I witnessing, bro? What is this canned water shit? I've only seen bottled water. Okay. Um, I guess we're just gonna do this like this. Um. <clears throat> I drew every single Saram in my deck. Please tell me that does nothing. Okay, thank God. I, I played a month of uh, Unchained. I actually thought it was really fun. It was a really cool uh, Link deck. Wait, what play? Oh, you you played Unchained? Yeah, I saw I saw you yeah, played yeah. it for one of your like rank climbs. This is my favorite deck of all time, like by far. It's a Maxi. Oh damn. Okay. I guess we're you know not what? summoning more. I, than I've one. changed my mind on Maxi. When Maxi was in the game, I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. I quite like it. Everyone's got Maxi. It's just not a problem. Yeah. I'm starting to get really sick of it now. I would not mind to like really shake up the game. They could have done it for the one year anniversary, like just ban it. Yeah. But I'll be honest. Like I was talking to um, I was talking to uh, I was talking. I was on a podcast this morning. And we were having this exact same discussion. And on that podcast, we like had the realization. It's like, yeah, everyone at the start of Mass Duel was like, yeah, you know, it feels refreshing to play with Max C again after all this time of not having played with it. And then all of a sudden, it's like everyone is sick and tired of it after like two weeks. It's like wild. The, when sprites came out, I, one of the things I'm kind of excited about every time we Mass Duel is when like decks I hear are really good, like Tier Element, Shizu, mm -hmm. yeah. sprites. And stuff. I'm always excited to see what it's like because I don't play in real life anymore. So yeah. I know Sprite got nerfed a little bit when it came out very but little bit but yeah <laughs> can kind of uh can kind of see how they play so that that's kind of cool and uh i'm not that excited to see ishizu tier element because they're gonna be proper busted right uh ishizu tier is gonna be absolutely insane so i can just do this right yeah oh okay <laughs> i was like i was i was i didn't i couldn't remember if like the malefics were a special summon or a normal summon yeah. and i was like oh, okay let's see <laughs> i've lost <laughs> i got the stardust i should have done that the other way around it protects the field, right? So it's just a field spell. How do you juggle chat and chatting to someone at the same time and playing this game, by the way? Because like, I have to oh. like look at you every time I talk to you. So I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be completely honest. Like, playing Master Duel has become second nature. So do you, do you ever watch like any chess content on YouTube at all? Sometimes. I watch a little bit of pieces. I watched the chess boxing was the last thing I watched. Okay. So uh, do you know who Hikaru is? Hikaru Nakamura? Yes. Yes. So Hikaru does this thing a lot of the time where he will play blind chess, where he blindfolds himself and he has someone tell him what move is being played and he has to remember the contents of the board and play by telling the person what, what move to play. I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be doing that with my girlfriend. Where I'm, I'm gonna have. I'm gonna be blindfolded. I'm gonna have her sit and play Master Duel for me, and just tell me what cards are being played or whatever. She can tell you what's in your hand, though, can't she? Yeah, yeah. She tells me what's in my hand. Oh, she okay, tells me what okay, cards okay. are being played. So she tells me like what's going on, but like she doesn't like tell me the contents of the board. Like I can't be like, okay, so what are name all the cards in the opponent's graveyard and my graveyard on the board, or whatever. That'd be, that'd be good to see. All right. Well, this was fun. This was some good games. Uh, I'm glad I, to have I had you come on. I didn't do great, I'm not gonna lie, but I had fun as well. Thank oh, you. No, that's, that's fine, dude. Don't need to do great. Yeah, this was fun. It was absolutely a blast. Thank you for coming on the Subathon, bro. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you for inviting me, and best of luck with your Subathon. Uh, absolutely smashing it at the moment. It was very much a good time. I hope you have a good one. It's like, not late for you, but it's like 6 p.m., probably time for dinner or something like that. Right, and you? Have a good day. What do you Bye, do? Chats. Thank good you so much. Play have a good one. Let's Bye. Bye-bye.